I'm not joking. I have spent about two and a half to three hours just trying to get Redfall to launch on PC. Two and a half hours to hit play and have it play the game. So you know what? We're pulling an audible. We're gonna play this on the Xbox Series S, which I have had sitting collecting dust in the corner for a while. And uh, we're, we're gonna go with this while it also installs on the gaming laptop behind me where I can test some mid-tier gaming hardware. And then we're gonna eventually get it on my big old 4090 computer here. That way we can test it running on the highest end hardware that you could possibly have. But seriously, like this thing has been an actual nightmare just to get playing. Already major, major, major red flags. If you can't even hit launch, I would dare to say that's a that's a problematic game right there. <laughs> Once we're in the Series S version of the game, you can see that it runs at a cool clean 30 frames per second as we learned in the lead up to the game's launch and it also bears some striking, striking artifacts of its, uh, let's just say limited graphical abilities. If we just pause the menu and bring up Layla, in this case, the player character I chose, because it said that she was a student in uh, massive amounts of student loan debt. And as we all know, that's all you really need to be an interesting character in a video game is massive amounts of uh, student loan debt. I mean, that turned out great for Saints Row, right? That game did really well. And those characters were entirely defined by what kind of financial instruments held them down in life. So I'm sure this is gonna be just as good. Seriously, how's the job? Yeah, it's the murder business. Fundamentals don't change, just the uniform. Uh, I can tell you love it. <laughs> okay, I don't have to love it. I have to pay my student loans. <laughs> but the most noticeable thing is the hair and the artifacting around the hair. I mean, just zoom in on that, Jacob. Look at that. Like, if if the game is not able to handle the upscaling of hair when you render it at lower resolutions, like this clearly is, you gotta find some other fix, because this looks so bad. The weird checkerboarding thing that's going on, I can't stand that. But setting that aside, once we're actually in the game running around, you can see it looks just like Deathloop, another game that you might be very familiar with apologies for the erratic movements i uh i don't tend to play on console and controller in first person shooters if i can help it but obviously the pc version doesn't even launch right now so we're gonna have to deal with it okay frankly as we run around here i wouldn't say this is like a terrible looking sequence is it the best no it has a very dramatic art style but it's not the worst thing ever bro the ai is like totally brain dead like actually brain dead they see you coming they hear you firing and they just kind of run at you without firing at you it's really strange now while we run to the next objective let me just say yeah i'm being a bit of a whiner about the state of the PC port. But frankly, Xbox is here to serve two markets. Look at this. I'm standing still talking to the camera. <laughs> and that's the best he had. Wow. Okay. Huh. Um, anyway, they're trying to serve two markets, the Xbox console players and the PC player. I happen to be both. I have Xboxes and I have PCs that I play on uh, because I want to try all of these games for you guys and I, I want to be able to test them in varying capacities um, in different ways. And frankly, for them to just launch what is currently, I would say, probably their biggest game of the year so far. Starfield will be bigger, hopefully, but this is like the biggest game of the year so far for Xbox as an as a console platform and to see them struggling to even support pc properly to allow you to download it on the launcher without major problems is amazing to me bro he missed that shot what is going on am i on like story mode or something what is happening right now no dude this is dusk difficulty so they have daylight which is uh very very easy and then dusk and then midnight is the hardest. 
But, like, man, on Dusk, which is the default, these guys are shockingly brain dead. And the crazy bad AI is also interesting because this is coming from Arcane, who did, of course, Deathloop which also had shockingly terrible AI at launch, which is why they had to spend multiple patches trying to fix it. I know there were fanboys at the time that were like, it's not bad, the AI is actually pretty good. No, dude, like they spent the first two patches clearing it up and trying to fix it because it was so broken and the enemies were so brain dead. So it, it was a problem and they thought it was a problem. And it's just stunning to see that they didn't seemingly remedy any of those issues for this game, they knew that this was a problem, that people had issues with the AI, and I guess they just didn't care. Are you gonna miss? I'm holding a gun to your head and you're gonna pull out the loudspeaker? Okay, whatever, dude. Let's fight a vampire. There he is. Hey, dude. Did he really go upstairs? Yeah. I can't even really tell what's going on. Like, it's so blurry. <laughs> I get it. This is the Series S, but man. But okay, okay, listen. I am being very negative. I get it. I'm grumpy because the game has, like, wasted an entire evening of my life. But that's, that's not fair. Maybe it was beyond their control. Maybe it was server issues. Maybe it's my PC causing issues with the download. I, you know what? Let's try to be nice about this and cheerful. Okay, let's go into this. Having a good time. They Open the door. To the basement. Um, I was just there. Okay, that's okay. Let's go down to the basement and check again. I guess I didn't listen closely enough. Let's go down there. And can't really tell what's going on. That's okay though. Okay. Okay, we turn on the power. Now we're getting some. Your friend's not okay. I'll take the bottle of Everclear. Whatever. You know what I'm just now realizing though? My fear with all of this bizarre, like upscaling stuff they're doing to hit frame rate targets. I'm worried it's gonna make developers like really, really lazy with optimization because they're gonna go. Well, yeah, the game doesn't run super well, but we're just gonna turn on AMD FSR2 or we're gonna turn on DLSS and it'll run like ass, but we'll let the AI upscale it, render it at lower resolution so it runs better. We'll just do that. Who needs to optimize? We'll just let the, the upscaling do it. I really worry that's what they're doing because now we've had like two games in a row that do this. Like right now I'm playing Jedi Survivor and that game also has terrible FSR to upscaling it just looks like absolute garbage and this is doing the same thing too where it's just super grainy and blurry everywhere anytime there's movement it just oh, looks terrible it's safe now you're safe come on i'm here i'm happy i'm not i'm not mad i'm just disappointed it's fine fade to blacks you guys know how i feel about fade to blacks <laughs> Wait, do we not get to see the characters in motion? We only get to see freeze frames. Was it like, was it like too expensive for them to animate this? So they just did freeze frames and stills? Is that what they did? Does this not strike anybody else as a little weird? Or am I just, am I just being a prick? Is that, is that what this is? Am I just a bad guy? Damn it. <laughs> Dude, I get that it's an art style. This guy is like sending me into nightmare territory. Like, what is going on? It's him and this guy. Look at his face, too. Just like dead behind the eyes. I'm the so confused what even is happening. I, like, Anybody. there's Christmas lights and then a cross and sending people for a dartboard <laughs> what's going on okay, okay we're gonna go on a mission here we go here we go one my name is layla ellison oh Two, cool redfall is full of blood-sucking monsters and three i have these weird powers i probably should have started with that last Otherwise, one 
There's a lot of things. Oh, no, the dialogue's overlapping, dude. <laughs> like a week ago. I was doing my master's oh, degree. that's so bad. Oh, I was getting a master's degree, too. Okay, I don't know what it is. I'm going to tell you something, and you're never going to be able to unhear it in any of these games or any of these modern shows or movies or anything. Okay, I'm telling you this because I, when I was in college, uh, just until relatively recently, I used all of my elective credits to go to theater classes and like musical theater classes, performance arts, that kind of thing. It was just fun to me. I enjoyed it. But there were some people who were shockingly not talented. They were like not gifted. They were cursed. Okay. They just had zero stage presence. They actively repulsed the audience. And one of the traits that they all had is that they were super self-indulgent with their performances. So every time they had the attention of somebody else, they would, ah, oh, and, uh, well, <laughs> I guess you could say that I <laughs> pretty smart getting my master's degree. <laughs> you know, that kind of thing. It was so annoying. I couldn't stand it. And every single freaking person who is like an insufferable performer does it with their dialogue where they are so obsessed with hearing their own voice that they will not shut up. The line should take maybe 10 seconds to deliver and they will take 35 just so that they can make sure that you heard them, that they heard themselves and that everybody else has to listen to them. There's a load screen between the two. What? I didn't even really realize that when I walked in before. That's freaking weird, dude. I thought we were in 2023. We're past that. Come on. Listen, I understand that the topic of like load screens and transitions and things like that is kind of it's not that interesting. I mean, let's be real. And it often feels like we're just trying to find things to complain about because we're just like, oh, there's a load screen between leaving the fire station and going into the open map. That's stupid. That makes the game bad. That's not really what's being said. What's being said is that there is a certain graphical and technological standard in the modern day that is simply not being met with this stuff. The modern standard, honestly, the standard since like 2014, 15 has been that you go into buildings and then there's no load screen into the open world. That's just what people have come to expect. So whether you love it or hate it or whether you realize it or think about it actively or not, that's what players will expect. And when you don't deliver that, it feels out of place. It feels like something isn't right. It feels like the game is outdated because frankly it is. And this is why so many people have been upset with like Starfield allegedly not having the um, free form from planet surface to space transition. Yeah, it's not a huge deal. Yes, the game can be amazing without that like smooth transition between the two. However, that's been the standard since like 2016 with No Man's Sky. Games have been able to do that surface to space transition for a while now. So to not have it, frankly, makes your game immediately feel like it's behind the curve. But that's all beside the point. Let's actually run through here and see what we're dealing with. The first thing that really jumps out to me is, again, let's just take in the AI. They all missed. He missed again. Like, are you kidding me? If you put, like... Oh, did you see that? Did you see his running animation pause? Oh, look at him go. Okay, dude, this is this is pretty bad. You're just making it worse. I thought maybe I was just being mean, but this is this is pretty rough, dude. His running animation just stops randomly. Okay. Okay. Again, I thought I was being like a jerk and just a negative Nancy. Look straight where the reticle is, okay? I'm going to walk forward slowly. Just watch. Just watch. One, two, three, four, five, six. What the hell? is that LOD? What is that poppin'? What is this low res tech? Like, what is happening? What is that? So listen, yes, the game could be great even with poppin', even with really weird um, like load screens or graphical hitches or animations that don't play right. Yeah, the game can be good in spite of those things. 
However, you have to do so much just to an amazing extent to overcome that, that I frankly don't think it's uh, that practical. That if you're screwing up in those areas, that you're going to magically pull it off in a bunch of other areas, you know? Like right here. I thought those right there were more vampires. I thought that was vampires standing and kind of leaning a little bit. But no, it's, I guess, like reeds or barley. I, I, <laughs> I don't even know. But man, I will tell you right now, even acknowledging that this footage you're seeing right here is on the Series S uh, and I'm about to die, this is significantly in my mind out of date this is way below what i think the modern standard is for graphical fidelity for gameplay quality i mean this is not an art choice look at this texture this is not an artistic choice this is just things not working properly because again like look at the rocks you can see the rocks are a high resolution texture than this this just isn't loading the right texture in man but again like people were wondering if they were going to delay this because of the 30 fps debacle and then everybody was relatively shocked when they said that they weren't going to and now i'm starting to realize i think they knew that this wasn't going to be received well and so instead of like trying to oh look at their leg did you see that it was like glitching out but anyway people were saying they were kind of surprised that they weren't going to delay this to get 60 fps support however now i'm starting to realize i think that they probably knew that this wasn't going to be received well and so instead of just delaying the game and then inevitably having the game be received kind of uh poorly either way even after the massive delay they just decided screw it just get it out we'll put 60 fps support later and move from there now one of the ways some studios seem to signal that they are anticipating the game is not going to be received well is that they will actually set the review embargo time to lift like an hour or two before the global worldwide launch of the game and whenever you see that you have to wonder like do they know that the game is going to be reviewed badly? Because normally if a company is like super, super confident in their game, they're just going to drop it and they're going to give it to reviewers like a week early, like with uh, God of War Ragnarok or The Last of Us Part 2, where they send those out like a week before the launch of the game. So everybody has their hands on it. That's what a confident studio does. So if a company or a studio is putting the game like an hour before the worldwide launch, I have to wonder... Hey, dude, if uh, if they actually know that they're dealing with a, a bit of a poopy mess. Man, I'm just shocked at how painfully easy this is. I'm actually going to try cranking the difficulty to midnight and going to a new area and seeing if I can find some more of these guys to fight. Because I'm just shocked that this is so mindless. Like, there is zero challenge so far. Not even like a little bit of pushback from the vampires who are supposedly more difficult than the grunts. And listen, when a game has distant areas like this where you can really see far, you need to, at the very least, take care of like two-dimensional textures like that, which are model swaps for trees. Like, look, I'm going to get closer to it and then it's going to mesh swap to the actual tree. Then I back up and it's going to drop back down to the 2D picture. And frankly, you got to fix that because that just looks horrible. Wait for it. It's going to swap once I get a little further away or not. It's going to stay. It's going to stay like that because nothing in this game works the way you want it to. <laughs> but I mean, you can see in the distance, tons of pop in the big tree right there. Right as I ADS on it, it comes into focus because it realizes I'm looking at it. Oh, there it goes. It goes back again. Why is it that when I sprint towards it, it drops to the lower quality mesh? What even is that? Why would it do that? It thinks like, oh, he's sprinting. He's not looking close, like as if my view is going like that the whole time. What? And then it loads in. That's freaking weird. I've never seen anything like that where like models swap out when you start sprinting but not when you're you're standing still that's that's strange i don't get that whatever huh okay let's see if these guys are tougher this looks scary this is like a church remember we just up the difficulty 
Does it just turn them into bullet sponges? It kind of seems like that's what it does. I think that that's all it is. It's just turning them into bullet sponges. It also has that death loop thing where if you quick scope, it gives like a little boost because you get the accuracy and tighter spread of aiming down sights but you don't have the penalty cost of running around and the, the decreased accuracy of sprinting around. So all you have to do is like jump around, run around in circles, and then right as you get on them, go a little ADS and then shoot. And then <laughs> you get the best of both worlds. Wow, dude, there is just like zero challenge here. I'm shocked. I don't even think I'm supposed to be over here. Yeah, this is not where the quest is. I'm not supposed to be over here right now. But there is so little challenge. Also, what is this weird like wiggle of the the icons? It's like they're not syncing with the movement of the map properly, so they wiggle around. And then they catch up and then center back where they're supposed to be. That just looks awful. What even is that? Ugh. But you know what? Let's try this on a super high-end PC and see if we can get it looking better than this when we run it on the highest possible hardware. Cause technically this is probably like the lowest tier hardware you could expect to run this game on. So what does it look like if we just menu? <laughs> There's a ton of weird graphical artifacting here on the ground. I don't know what that is, but it looks freaking awful, huh? And it already crashed. Okay, well, <laughs> this is gonna go well, I can already tell. Okay, let's try this again. Let's just click through. Let's see what we're dealing with. Maybe, maybe, maybe. Try not to crash the game this time, okay. And... There we go. Love it. Okay, loads in. Continue. Okay, we're just going to like try to try to get through the menus. Oh, and by the way, I had to buy this on Steam because the Xbox Game Pass version of the game just uh, won't install. It just won't. Like, I don't know how that happens. They're owned by Microsoft, the creators of Windows like the king of PCs and and somehow they can't get it to install and launch on a Windows PC. It's honestly pretty embarrassing if you ask me, but you know what, whatever. Let's get the random British like cryptid hunter, which is the most insufferable thing I've ever heard of. And let's go play game. What do we got? We're gonna skip this because we already went through this off camera. I'm gonna skip this little tidbit. No story spoilers. And we're also gonna go into the settings and we're going to tweak some of this as you can see it's running on epic we can also crank it to custom but i think epic is fine dlss i want to set it to quality mode and then frame generation i'm fine with leaving that on and giving it every benefit of the doubt that we can manage so let's back out and see it kick in yes i'm sure keep these settings okay and boom we have Graphic options uh, there. One thing, this game supports ultra wides, which is what I'm playing with right now, which is why the view is so wide as you can see. Um, however, it doesn't really support it because look, it crops off the character's forehead <laughs> and the UI kind of weirdly gets cut off on the edges. Um, huh, okay, whatever, let's just, Let's just run and do the thing. In here, I mean, so far, it's not insane. I mean, it, it's running fairly smoothly. I'm not seeing anything too atrocious. Frame times are pretty long, but it's it's not unplayable. It's certainly like workable. Let's get outside and see what we're dealing with. Okay, and if we look at the frame rate counter, it's also, I mean, we're sitting above 200 frames, but I don't think the question was ever whether or not frame rates would be solid it's about ai and those gameplay optimizations which are much less refined okay so even on the 4090 if you look up you can see pop in occurring you can see other stuff it's certainly way better on this than it is on the other platforms but it's it's not good it's still not where it should be I'll give them credit. This is running significantly better 
even with the crazy drops like the one you just saw i mean look at the the frame grab that you can see there uh even with those drops it still is running way better than jedi survivor so i guess that's something that they can hang their hat on but man yeah you look up at the top of the hill and you can just see crazy amounts of pop in crazy amounts of weirdness it's just not again it seems just very very outdated I may be crazy also. It feels like their aim is better on PC. Is there some weird like AI optimization thing on PC versus console where they are able to simulate like smarter AI on PC with better CPUs or something? Like, is that what's happening? Maybe I'm crazy, but it feels like the AI is just better on PC. And listen, I understand that the series s is a significantly weaker console um than even the series x and certainly compared to like the the current pc that we're on right now i get that but it's still a little bit embarrassing in my view for it to look so bad on the series s like on pc it's it looks decent um there's still pop in there's still issues with optimization but again, on a $5,000 PC, you would really hope that this would look pretty good. I mean, like, come on. Okay, and once we're out and about and we're exploring in the open world, there's really weird, like, shadow artifacting. I don't know what is going on here. The the sun eclipse thing is staying still. I, I don't get it. I don't know why that's doing that, but whatever. If we uh, explore this way this time... There's still massive amounts of pop-in, even on a 4090. Bizarrely huge frame drops all over the place. It's just not where it needs to be. I, I don't think this is something that... Oh, God. That was bad. I don't think this is something that a quick... What are they doing? The AI is... Okay, the AI is, I think, better on PC, but not by much. I don't think a delay would fix this. This game has been in development for a while, and frankly i think it's just not a cool concept it's not really a fun idea this is something that nobody really asked for was a co-op like four player co-op multiplayer game from a company known for high quality single player games it just feels like suicide squad kill the justice league or what will eventually be that game where it's an idea nobody asked for from a team that people would rather work on other stuff and it just feels like a really weird attempt to do something different when if it ain't broke don't fix it i mean i'd say the gunplay feels fine on on console it's pretty much in line with death loop it doesn't feel any different what is going on with these trees dude oh my god i'm having a mental breakdown it, it's like serviceable i think if they polished it up and refined it it might be able to reach like six out of ten seven out of ten as a concept and as a game but frankly oh look at those drops this is so inconsistent this is so weird i just don't think there's a reason to play this right now like i i really don't think so you know sometimes there's games that come along like forespoken which are terrible but they're kind of funny for the memes it's kind of fun to play them just because it's so bad that it's almost good like the room how much is it it'll be 18 dollars go keep the change hi doggy but this is just like this is just bad like this is just not fun this is broken unoptimized soulless oh god did you see that okay man the first little tidbit felt workable like maybe on pc this is usable but like this i mean out in the world actually exploring those massive frame drops are pretty horrible they probably don't come through as strongly in um the recording as they do like in person on the screen but i'll tell you what man those are distracting and disorienting and again it just doesn't really feel like there's much difficulty here it's just going through the motions and then the stake doesn't line up and why do I have to hold down escape every time I want to clear the message? Come on. You know, seeing how rough this is makes me wonder if, like, Arcane Austin's previous hits, like Prey, were just kind of flukes, or if this is the fluke. 
Because this is like so thoroughly bizarre and not ready for launch and uh, not a very fun concept. Just the whole thing doesn't seem to make sense. Benches are clipping into the things behind them. Just across the board, it doesn't really seem like this is made by the same team. So maybe it's not. Maybe the same people that made Prey have left to other studios. Maybe that's it. Maybe it's that the director of this game just shouldn't have been given a game to direct like this and this just was not a good fit i i don't know man but this this ain't it fam this ain't it now as of the time of recording this video they only just launched the reviews for the game because they launched them <laughs> it's clipping through um right as this was going live because they didn't want people to see the review scores before they presumably bought it or did something like that so i haven't actually looked at those and i don't actually know what these reviews are are like so let's take a peek see not where they wanted it to be 64 on xbox 62 on pc it's domestic spaces filled with scattered stories to piece together the results are soggier than usual don't get me wrong redfall is a good open world fps you can enjoy for dozens of hours with friends but it's a noticeable step down from the high perch occupied by corvo and colt it's the first missable arcane game in an age. I don't even know if I would go so far as to say it's like something I could see enjoying with friends because it's so mindless. And that was one of my frustrations even with Deathloop is that the shooting mechanics were just like, you turn your brain off and you just kind of quick scope fire, quick scope fire, and then bounce around the levels and you can take everybody out super quickly. And this is just that, but even stupider with even worse AI. And I know I said that I was gonna try this on my gaming laptop, however, I just uh, checked it and it stopped downloading at 42%. And even when you pause and then resume it and then end it and try to restart it, it just glitches out and doesn't work. So I guess that answers our question of how this game runs on mid-tier PC hardware. <laughs> it's just a bummer. This whole game is a disaster. We thought it was stinky. We thought something was off with it. We thought this just wasn't sitting right. And now we see that, in fact, it was always like if it looked like a duck it smelled like a duck it acted like a duck i don't know what a duck smells like you get what i'm saying if it quacks like a duck it's probably a duck and if it looks like crap it's probably crap and this is a game a lot of people were saying something's off with this for a long time and now we see that that was in fact the case there's just not much here there's no there there but man i think the lasting legacy of this game is not going to be that it's just terrible or anything like that i think uh while that is true I think this is a huge blow to Xbox. They needed this game to be pretty good. At the very least, decent. And instead, it's just a disaster. And like I said, it is a straight up embarrassment that Microsoft, the guys that created Windows, cannot find a way to have a functional PC port, much less a functional game on their own hardware. There's nothing more shameful than having a first party studio that's making games just for your hardware and you can't manage to pull that off. That is ridiculous, it's embarrassing. And while I've previously praised Phil Spencer and the executives within Xbox because I think they're doing something pretty pro-consumer with Game Pass, it's becoming painfully evident that Phil Spencer is incapable of getting these games consistently across the finish line in a polished and refined state. Say what you will about PlayStation, they can manage at least that. Say what you will about Jim Ryan and how he's not really a gamer, he's just a big wig businessman who's kind of soulless and looks like an alien wearing a human mask. Say all of that that you would want to, hypothetically, allegedly. At least he can get games across the finish line in a polished and refined state consistently and until xbox can do that there is no way they will consistently compete with playstation in any facet but that's gonna do it for me i'm gonna go play something fun otherwise i'm gonna have an aneurysm thank you for watching like the video if you enjoyed it so that i don't feel as though i wasted my time with this and subscribe for more content like this and if you have another game you want to see me rip my hair out while trying let me know in the comments also come over to luke stevens live just search luke stevens live in the search bar and come over. I'm probably streaming right when this video goes up. So come by and say hi. But with that, I love you all. I'll see you in the next one. Hugs and kisses. Bye-bye.